So we'll need today, you'll need your mini band as per usual. You need your mini band. Uh, you'll need a drink bottle. Obviously, make sure you've got your drink bottle nearby. You'll need a little bit of space, okay? Like last week, those that weren't here last week, we did do some broad jump and some acceleration, deceleration, sprint technique stuff. So you need a little bit of space. And if you like, when we're finishing off, um, you may use a foam roller if you've got one for a little, little cool down and warm down. Uh, we've got some people working at different paces today. Some of the older boys joined in a little bit earlier because we've got to, got to get to school. So um, Sam, if you've done your, your landing, you're going to go straight to a squat jump, mate. Uh, for the rest of us, we're going to grab our mini band. Oh, actually, I apologise. We're going to do quick mobility. So you can use the wall. <coughs> Use the wall or use a foam roller. I use a foam roller just because it's a little bit easier to show you guys on the screen. We're just going to quickly do some ankle mobility, okay? Make sure that can see all the way down here. So again, we're, we're working on that heel planted ankle mobility to really get to our path. So I'll start with my, my toe about 10 centimeters, 15 centimeters away from the roller. And I'm just bringing, trying to keep my Keep my heel planted to the ground, to the carpet, and bring my knee towards the foam roller. How you going, Sam? You all good, mate? Okay, so just coming back and forth. I'm on my right leg. So we want to come back and forth maybe two or three times. Again, come all the way forward until your heel starts to come off the ground. So you're sort of in that lunge position, but you're bringing that knee over your toe and trying to touch it to your foam roller. You could also use the edge of a couch, okay? So imagine like in, in the video here, my foam roller is the edge of a couch. So again, about 10, 15 centimeters away. I'm, my knee's not gonna make it all the way to the foam roller, especially because I'm pretty cold. But again, I'm just down in that lunge position, two or three, bringing my knee towards the top of that foam roller. I should feel that stretch down the back of my car uh, and, 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 and down into my Achilles, into my attachment there at the back of my heel. Okay. How'd everyone go with that? All good? Yep, good. And this good. Um, yeah. All right, so warming up our calves. Another one you can do that's really simple if you're not sort of understanding what I'm doing in terms of mobility. You can just come to a wall, okay, and just do some little calf pumps. So instead of doing that static, sort of pushing the wall down, the old school kind of stretch for our upper calf, you can just bring your feet in slightly, keep your knees bent, and just sort of pump them back and forth. Almost sort of tapping, just lightly tapping your heel on the ground. Just little calf pumps, just to warm up those muscles of your ankle. All right, next one's a favorite of mine. You guys know this, I think, now. It's like a Spider-Man squat. We can do this as a lunge. We're gonna do it as a squat today. So what we're doing is we're just gonna bend at the hip. We're bringing our, our fingers underneath our big toes or underneath the, the front of our feet. Then we're gonna bend our hip and come all the way down as low as we can. I'll move back a little bit. All the way down as low as we can, getting our butt down as low as we can. We've got our elbows inside our knees here. So we've got our elbows inside of our knees here. So you could press against the inside of your, your thigh and your knees. From here, I'm going to release my right hand, holding, keeping my left hand underneath my left foot. And I'm going to twist and I'm going to reach up to the sky or the roof. I'm going to do some deep breathing here. So one or two deep breaths. And open up my lower back a little bit, open up my hips. I'm opening up my, my upper back as well with this stretch and come back down, right hand under my right toes, and then I'm going to release on the left side. So I'm going to twist now. And again, deep breathing. If you can have your heels on the ground here, that's great. I can't because I just don't have the ankle range of motion. We're just sitting down into that deep squat. Warming up our hips, twisting, 
looking up at the roof for a couple of deep breaths, and then we come up. Really good. Job over. Job Sam, awesome. Elbows inside your knees there, Zach. Good job, guys. Good read. Sit back and do hips a little bit. Good. So that opposite arm, doing really well, guys. That opposite arm that's not looking up at the sky can be used to sort of stabilize you. And put, your neck, put your elbows. You want to have your hands into your knees. So you, need, you want your knees to go sort of wide. You want your arms inside your knees. Good job, Will. Twist and look up at the sky, Will. Keep one hand down under your toes. So arm inside your knees. You guys there, Jen and Dan, is it? Arms inside your knees. So you're in a squat position, hands inside. So you want your feet a little wider and knees pointing out. That's perfect, Cody. All right, we'll move on, guys. We'll move on now. Grab your band. Grab your mini band. All right, we're going to do our, we're going to do our crab walk. Warm up our glutes. So mini band just around your ankles. Okay, Sam, I know you just went back and did your mobility. If you've done your squat jump, you're going to do a broad jump next. I'll show you that in a second once I get these guys started on a, a mini band crab walk. So we're doing 10 each side. So we'll do five because I don't have a lot of space. So again, feet stay nice and wide in this. I don't want to see feet coming together. Do not let the band bring your feet together. That's the whole point of this is that we, we dictate where the band goes. We don't let the band pull us in, okay? So the entire time our glutes and the muscles of our hips are staying activated. So I'm gonna get down into a sort of an athletic stance here, almost like a defensive stance. You can have your arms wide if you like, high, low, whatever you like, because that can help sort of warm up your upper body as well. And I'm just going from big to bigger. And I'm stepping out, but I'm not letting my feet come together. So I'm gonna go five to my right, And then I'm going to go five back to my left. I'm staying down nice and low because the more bend I have in my hips here, the more I'm activating my glute muscles, which is what we want here. Okay, so that's five to my left, five to my right. Do another five. And then back. Good. You guys can do two sets of that. Sam. You're watching, mate. We've got the broad jump now. Stand broad jump, just a horizontal leap, okay? So we're here, instead of jumping up, we swing our arms back and through, and we're leaping forward, okay? That's our broad jump. So like a horizontal takeoff. Make sure you try and stick that landing. If you fall forward, that means you're, uh, you're not getting low enough on the landing. All right, guys, the rest of us, we're going to work on our acceleration, deceleration, okay? So, again, you need a couple of meters in front of you here. We did this last week. We're going to do five of these. I know the program there says uh, eight to ten. You guys can do ten if you like. I'm just going to show you five, okay? So, what we're doing is if I start with my right foot back, Press into the ground, okay? I'm taking off into a little stutter, into a little pitter patter, acceleration, deceleration. So I just did right leg back. Now I'm going to start and I'm going to push off my left foot. Okay, so see how I'm nice and low in this sprinkle stance? Okay, I'm not just standing up straight. Then I have to come down and take off. So get into good habits here. So left foot back and down in this sprinter, sort of half lunging stance, push off, little pitter patters. Okay, little pitter patters. Make sure you keep alternating your feet. Okay, I want you to do 10 of those. Stay down nice and low, that's good. Good job, Ashy. Do it, Ava, perfect. Hold on, guys. Good chase, give yourself a little bit more space to really push off. Give yourself a little bit more space, move the mat. I really want you to get almost to a full sprint here and come to a stop as quickly as you can. Good, so push off Owen. Good, good. Stay down nice and low on that closeout. Good Archie. Good Cam. 
Good Cody sprinting at the camera, sharing me. Good job, mate. Well done. Good job, Will. Give yourself as much space as you can, mate. Stay down nice and low in that takeoff. Really good. Good job, guys. If you've got hardwood floors, it can be a little bit tough. You might need to be bare feet. Be careful not to flip and uh, trip over there on the hardwood floors. It can be tough. Good job, Reed. Okay, so we've done 10 of those, guys. We're going to move on. Really good. Get a drink if you need it. Starting to warm up a little bit. Now we've got our box drop landing. Okay, I, I, I don't have a box to jump off here. I'm guessing a lot of you don't see it. I don't want to encourage you using the couch. Um, we can do this one without needing uh, equipment. So what we're doing here is, we did it last week, is we're coming up onto our tippy toes. All right, we're right up onto the ball of our feet, up onto our toes, we've got our arms straight up. Okay, so we're simulating that we've just jumped up for a rebound or at the peak of our, our jump, okay? And then we're quickly sort of swinging our arms back and through as we come to a nice, solid, athletic stance landing. Okay, so we're up, arms up nice and high, we're up at the peak of our jump and we're simulating that coming back down movement and having to rock back from the ball of our foot, softly into our heel. So we're sitting right down into a squat, but it's, it's almost like an explosive downward movement. So we're really working on that landing technique. Okay, we're gonna do, we're going to do two sets of three of these. I don't, we're not going to have time for the full three sets. I've done one set here now. This is my third. Okay, I'm going to come and watch you guys for the, for the next one. So two sets of three, arms up. That's good, Ava, perfect. Arms up, stretch right out, up onto your tippy toes. And then throw yourself down and come into that nice squat position. Make sure your feet are about shoulder width apart. Cody, you could probably go a little wider with your stance there. Good job. Will, I can't see your feet. Arms up, up on your tippy toes. Throw your hands down. Good, mate. Good. Good. Good, Sarah. Up on your tippy toes. Good. Yep. Good. Excellent. And you're just getting used to that movement of rocking your weight from your, all your foot back into your heel, which helps us activate our glutes for the muscles we want to be working on in that landing. Really good. Good. All right, Sam, you've got skater jumps, mate. So those are just our those are just our lateral sort of push off, push off, single leg landing. Okay. When I do these, I like to emphasize making sure we stick the landing for a second. Okay, so we're able to absorb that impact and then push off again. Okay. So make sure you get the movement right. So if I'm if I'm on my left leg here. So I'm pushing off my left foot, I have my right arm forward, and I'm sort of down into like a single, almost like a single leg squat. Okay, so like a lunge almost, but I've got my right foot off the ground, so I'm on my left foot, I push and I swing my arm through. So I land left arm forward, right arm back, like so, okay, and I've got, I'm on my right foot. I might sort of swing my left leg behind me to help push off and get a little bit more momentum. Give those a try. The rest of you guys should still be working on your landing. If you've done your two sets of three, great. Grab a quick drink. If not, I'm watching the last few. Owen oh, disappeared. Archie, we're not quite doing the skater jumps yet, mate. I've just got one of the older boys to stick your head a little bit. Okay, so the next one, we've got our squat jump. On here, it's a bench or a box jump. Again, I don't really want people jumping onto the couch and stuff like that. So, really simple squat jump. We know our squat movement pretty well. Okay, all we're doing again is now we're just kind of adding into that movement we just practiced. So we just practiced that landing. Now we're gonna actually sort of swing through and take off into our squat jump. So we're here, land again push off okay so we're just adding some consistency to that movement getting our heart rate up a little bit we're doing two sets of three so yep so swing through really work on getting that momentum get up as high as you can 
come to that proper landing. Okay, so Zach, you've got to come down into that proper landing, be able to take off again. So as you come down, swing your arm through, ready to go again. Swing your arms all the way back and through, and swing up again. Good. Swing your arms through and back, Zach. Get back into that squat and take off again. Good, good. Good, guys. So we're just doing three, and then we can have a break. Good, Sarah. Just straight up. We're not jumping out in front just yet. We're going vertical. Vertical still for now. Okay, so a couple of you guys there, I'll watch about five or six of you. I'll watch the other six or seven in a second. Uh, if you have a break on the couch, good job. So a few of you, when you were doing that, were sort of, you were getting this part right. You're swinging through here and starting here. And then the takeoff was good. You were here and then it was like that and then you stop like that, okay? What did we just work on? We just worked on this landing, okay? So that's where we need to come to. That's the full movement we need to get used to. So we're up, so we're here, we swing through, okay? Then we push up and explode and back into that movement there. We need to swing our arms back and sit back into our hips on the landing. If you want to reset after that, that's okay because it will take some practice to get into a full rhythm of doing consistent sort of squat jump. Here, here, here. Okay, but see how when I land, I go up, I'm not just like that, okay? I can already feel that just by not swinging my arms through, and sitting back in my hip, I can feel that stopping there. I can feel that in my knees, okay? Which is not what we want. So let's do our second set of three here. Box jump. Sam, if you've done your skater jump. Yeah, now we're just doing some skipping. So I think he said, you had to give skipping a miss. Possibly because of your, yep, of your Achilles. Okay. Um, what was I going to say? One other thing we could do with you. Oh. Good one for you to do, Sam, I reckon. Just a balanced one as well, just to finish off the day. Single leg arabesque, so like a single leg, like a single leg deadlift, all right? But instead of just coming up like this, you swing through explosively and try and stick the single leg landing. So yeah, like a single leg deadlift or arabesque, like you would have done in warm up, but swing through, <laughs> drive that knee up and try and do it with a single leg landing. Give them a try. All right, everyone else, we should be nearly finished with our second set or finished with our second set of box jump. Grab a quick drink. Our next one is our broad jump, okay? So a broad jump, watching while you're getting a drink. Now we're working on horizontal explosiveness, okay? So we're trying to really pop off the floor and cover as much distance as possible, not up, but out this way. So it's sort of like what you were doing, Sarah but really exploding out. So the movement's pretty similar. You know, swing your arms through and back, sit into that same sort of, that same sort of shallow sort of squat position, like if we're just, we're taking off for a rebound or something, but I want you to jump out, forward, okay? And again, we're trying to stick the landing, okay? Because what'll happen a lot of times is if we don't land properly here, the beauty of this one is if we don't land properly, you'll get instant feedback because you'll fall forward and you'll know, okay, I didn't swing my arms back and through like Jared was telling me. With the squat jump, you're going straight up and down. So even if you land like this, you're sort of not falling forward or backwards. This one, you will fall forward. So here we go. How many are we doing? Two sets of three. So I'm going to show you three and then you guys are going to do the last three while I watch. So swinging through and out. That was a loud landing. That was not good. So the louder the landing, that means bad technique. I landed on my heels there. Okay, here we go. Swing through and out. A bit better and see how I had to hop forward. I didn't land properly. You've got to hop forward. You're not landing properly and sitting back into your hip. That's a better one. All right, here we go, guys. Float out as far as you can, swing those arms through and back, 
into that squat position to land. Bring those arms through. Get your center of gravity nice and low on the landing. Make sure we're engaging our hips when two feet at once. Good job. Good, Will. Good. Take off two feet at once, though. That's good. Cam, you've done a set. Swing your arms through, Sarah. I know it feels a bit weird. Good, Cody, but bend your knees and sit back into those hips. So our arms are swinging. We swing up as we jump forward, and then we throw our arms back as we sit back into our heels. Perfect, Sarah. Good job. Awesome. Good job, good job. Awesome, Sam. You do both legs. Yep, all good, mate. Yep, couple of sets. Or they're a good one, just a single leg one, just to practice exploding. Yeah, I'd, do, I'd probably do two sets of three on each leg. But if you've got to go, you've got to go, mate. All good. Good job. Excellent. How are you going, Owen? Are you ready for your second set? Yep. Take it down nice, that's it, Sam. Good. Try and get your back nice and horizontal on those, Sam. Come down a little bit lower, that's it. And then swing through and up. Perfect, good mate. Good job, guys. Okay, if you've done your second set of broad jumps. How you going, Owen? You got, have you done your second set? Give me a thumbs up if you've done your second set, mate. Yeah, I'll be doing it. Yeah, okay, perfect. All right, good job, guys. Those look way better than last week. A lot of you are starting to get that that arm technique. I know in basketball you're not going to be thinking about this, and that's the whole point of practicing here. Okay, I'm not I'm not expecting you to go and jump and land with your arms like this if someone if you've come you've got a rebound, you're not going to swing the ball back. <laughs> but it's good to just get into those habits and start to understand the reason why we do those things and the biomechanics of it because you're swinging the arm swinging. No worries, Sam. See you, mate. The, um, the arm swinging stuff is, is really just good habits to get into. So, all right. So now we've got our skater jumps. Okay. I was just talking to Sam about those. So Sam, Sam's one of our under 16 boys in the, um, in the SDP program. He's just got to duck off to school. He's got to start late too. So he started a little bit earlier. That's why he's sort of ahead of everyone. So our skater jump, again, we're going left to right. All right. Last week with these, we did one set where we just stuck the landing first and then we did uh, a second set with back and forth. So we're gonna do the same again today. So the first set, I just want you to start on your left leg and you're pushing out, landing right leg. Again, you can swing that leg behind. That landing is single leg, knee bent, hip bent, okay? Arm, preferably if I'm on my right leg, my left arm forward. I wanna do three landings. Uh, what do we got, skater jump, yeah. I want to do three landings on my right leg, three landings on my left is the first set. So I'm starting on my left leg, push out, and I land. Stick the landing. If you're not sticking that landing, that means you're not getting down low enough. Good. If you're confident with these, you can go back and forth from side to side. If you want to do that, go back and forth from side to side, that's okay. Just sit down into that hip. I'm going to show you guys. How are you going, Archie? Push out. Good. 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 So you're doing three. So you're doing six total if you're going back and forth, back and forth. Okay. If you're going side to side, side to side, you're doing six total. If, like me, you're practicing on sticking the landing still, you're pushing out and working on your balance. That's one. Then you would walk back and do another one until you get to three on each leg, okay? Grab a drink if you're in between sets. Couple of things, couple of things while you're grabbing a drink, eyes on me. I still still see people landing like this. So I'm still seeing people, the, the takeoff is okay. We come down into this squat position, almost like this sprinter stance, but with one leg off the ground. We do that pretty well. But the landing is all stiff-legged like that, okay? It's like we've taken off and we forget about the landing, okay? Best jumpers in the world, best leapers are the best landers, okay? No point taking off if you can't come down, okay? 
So we have to practice this landing. We have to have soft knees, soft hips. Think soft knees, soft hips. So what I mean by that is if you watch me side on and I take off here, I'm not just, boom, this knee, okay? This, this position that I'm in here, I have to replicate that in my landing. So I push off. Okay, but see how low I am here. My hips are bent, my knees are bent. Okay, nice and soft. So let's do our second set of those. So six, if you're going continuous, I'm gonna go continuous now. All right, so pushing off. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's a really good rate of force development exercise because we're pushing off, pushing off, pushing off, having to absorb that impact and push straight back off. Good job, Reed. Excellent, excellent. You guys haven't done your second set, jump up to your second set. Good, give yourself some space, brother and sister there. You know, we're running into each other. Good job, Cody. Push off, push off. Excellent, good, Sarah, that's good stick. Excellent. Keep working, Cam, if you're done, all good. Grab a drink, Archie, keep working. Owen's having a stretch. Good job, Aki. Okay, we're finishing off with our skipping, okay? If you're outside and you've got a skipping rope, great. If not, um, you can be like me, which is what I'm gonna do. We're doing 60 seconds on each leg, um, or you can do 60 seconds on two legs. Um, it's up to you, really. I like to mix it up, but we can do 60 on one leg. The other thing we did last week as well was we got, um, I used the resistance band as a sort of a fake line. So we did do some lateral sort of line hops a sort of line hop like that. If you want to do that, if you've got a line in the carpet or you've got a crack in the concrete outside or bricks or whatever you're, wherever you're working, if you want to add your skipping to sort of be a line hop movement, that's fine with me, okay? Um, if you want to just be almost like pogo hop on the spot, okay? You don't need the skipping rope to skip necessarily. Up to you. Again, depending on your development level, you might want to do single leg. So you might go right leg for one uh, 30 seconds, left leg for 30 seconds. All right, totally up to you. Okay, I've got the timer on. I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna go simple two feet, bouncing just, just really, just, just that, that movement, that strength of my Achilles, ankles and, and feet. So 60 seconds, two feet at once, sort of pogo hop, three, two, one, here we go. So we're getting our heart rate up, getting our blood flowing nice and early in the morning. It's a great way to start the week. Again, you can simulate your skipping. If you've got the skipping rope, great. We're doing 60 seconds. Good job. 15 seconds down. I'll tell you when we get to 30 seconds if you want to swap, if you're doing one leg at a time. Five seconds till we get to 30. Three, two, one, so swap legs if you're doing one leg at a time. If you're on your right leg, swap to your left leg now. The rest of us that are on two feet, we're about 30 seconds to go. Keep working. So again, we're trying to reduce that time that we spend on the ground. So we're just springing back off quickly. It's called rate of force development, our ability to pop off the ground, which is what we want in basketball. 10 seconds, here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. Whew. Good job, guys. Excellent. Okay, we're going to do one more set of those. I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to give you guys another option if you like. Really quick breather. Grab a quick drink. We're nearly done. You guys can, you guys can stretch it out. If you've got to get to class, if you, you've got online classes, you've got to do it 8.30. We'll be nearly, we're nearly there. Okay, this time I've got my line here. I'm gonna mix it up. So first 30 seconds, I'm gonna go side to side over my, over my line. Second 30 seconds, I'm gonna go forward and back. So again, I'm, I'm just testing my ankles and my proprioception out a little bit. Okay, because in basketball we do have to obviously jump side to side, forward and back a little bit. So it's good just to mix it up. So if you've got a line or if you're skipping, you can still do this while you're skipping. 
you can, if you've got the skipping rope, you can go side to side if you like, and then you can go forward and back. All right, takes a little more skill, but that's okay. I trust you guys. I have faith in you. Okay, here we go for 60 seconds. I'm going to do 30 side to side to start with. Three, two, one. Here we go. Side to side. Little bounces. Just getting that balance, moving our feet. See how my upper body doesn't move that much? I'm just shifting my hip. Good, guys. Good job. Side to side for 30. Again, my heel's not touching the ground. Heels are nowhere near the ground. I'm just bouncing off the ball on my feet, working my, working the muscles of my calves, my ankles, my feet. All right, we're gonna swap. We're nearly at 30. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm going forward and back for my last 30. Forward and back over the line here. I've got soft knees, soft hips, okay. Good job. Again, just little hops. You don't need to come along once the ground. Whoop. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Carbs are burning a little bit now. Good job, guys. Excellent work. Grab a drink. Oh, grab a drink. You can stretch, warm down. Okay, if you want to just go straight into a static stretch with some description, that's okay. Remember our foam roller if you've got it. Good ones to do are our glute. So we're sitting our bum right on the foam roller. I've got my right glute on the roller. So that means my right ankle is on my left knee or behind, behind my left knee. Helps me open up that glute and I'm going back and forth, okay? Uh, another good one is on the side here, ITB, right down the side of my leg. That tendon, that ligament, that band that runs right down the side. And then our calves, another good one. So again, getting, getting that roller back and forth on your calves. If you're not foam rolling, you want some static stretches. Again, good one. Good one is how we've begun with the calf stretch, pushing the wall over. This don't hold for too long. You might even want to do some calf pumps. Okay, little calf pump. Keep it dynamic. Again, just move the blood around. Help stretch that fascia a little bit. And as always, I love a pretzel stretch or a glute stretch. So same as what we would do with the foam roller. I call it a cradle walk, but if you're just holding that position, Grab just below your knee, kneecap, and above your ankle or on your ankle, pull up. Okay, watch your balance. See that popping around there. Okay, if you struggle with your balance, rest that ankle. So I've got my right leg here. Rest that ankle here on top of your left knee and sit down into that squat a little bit. A bit like that. Do like that. You can do that one on the ground as well. That one down on the ground, just a pretzel stretch. Okay, so I'm going left leg now, up on my right knee, and I'm just going to rock back, putting my right arm around my shin, my left arm through my leg there. Okay, through the little gap in my leg. You can see there, my hand comes through, and I'm pulling back on my right leg to get that stretch in my left leg. Whew, all right, I've got to sweat up. Whew, great stuff, guys. Okay, you guys can keep stretching for a bit if you don't need to get to your online classes and things that you're doing today. Um, thanks heaps for tuning in. As, as always, um, really good to stay connected through this stuff. Will, geez, you've all multiplied there. You've got a whole team behind you. Good stuff, mate. <laughs> so guys, as always, this session will be running every Monday. Uh, we'll focus on the speed and power um, of our workout, as you can see here on the PDF. And then you can see session A there is the strength session. Uh, that's the one that we do on a Thursday night. It's a little bit more strength based, not as much jumping and uh, sort of running and things like that. So enjoy your day, guys. Um, yeah, again, stay healthy, stay connected with your teammates, your schoolmates, coaches, all that sort of stuff. 
Um, and yeah, keep, keep, stay tuned to the Blues from Home calendar. Okay, if you guys need something to do each day, even if you feel like doing this again tomorrow morning, this will be recorded. Last week has been recorded. I did a cooking session last night. If you need something to do this afternoon, you want to make a healthy snack, go on, uh, have a look at the more than an athlete cooking session last night. I made some protein bites, protein balls, really good snack for the week if you've got time today and you want to have a crack at those with your current supervision. See you guys. Great job. Uh, talk to you all soon. See you all soon.